How to Fits Design Wizard In the first panel, you decide the general shape of your insole. Select the shoe size based on the sizing protocol, choose the usage of the insoles, and select the base that matches the patient's needs. The usage will affect the available shoe types and influence the top cover's recommended thickness on the following design panel. In the second panel, decide the top cover characteristics and change some general properties of the printed base part. Choose how you want to assemble the insoles, how thick the top cover should be, in what shore value, and whether you want to add a synthetic finishing layer or not. Note that the thickness and the hardness of the top cover are suggested based on the patient's weight and the selected usage in the first screen. In the lower part of the second panel, you can change the printed base's size for the left and the right side. Make sure to check the results of your sizing protocol for this. In the base type option, you can choose between the normal type or the more correcting ortho type and decide whether you want to have the standard option or the newer slim fits version. You can also choose the medial lateral support. Go for normal or select the high option if you want to significantly increase the amount of correction. On the next panel, you can choose the general corrections of the insoles. Both options are suggested, but especially for the navicular support, it is recommended to double check whether your patient can handle the amount of correction as this option will influence the height of your medial arch support. If you also have a 3D scan of your patient's feet, you can see the statically measured navicular height. This extra information helps you to verify the suggested navicular support of your insoles. Local stiffness option is a great option, which shows the added value of 3D printed orthotics. Change the stiffness of the base in specific areas by clicking on the arrows or click Reset to go back to the initial suggestion based on the roll-off of your patient, considering the weight. The Heel Corrections screen has an option to add local cushioning in the heel area in case of fat pad, heel spur, or plantar fasciitis issues. Note that this is a top cover solution and is only available for insoles with an EVA top cover. Other heel corrections are the standard or low heel cup. The heel wedge is calculated based on the loading on the medial and the lateral side of the heel zone and the heel offset, which allows you to add a heel raise in case of a leg length discrepancy. The Meta Corrections panel has three different types of metatarsal supports and allows you to lower the lateral edge if necessary. The Meta Bar is only available for the ortho or the ortho slim type, where the metatarsal pads, the teardrop, and the T-form are always available. However, go easy with the height of these pads, as one or two millimeters will already be significant support for your patient. The forefoot corrections panel is the last one, and it gives you five different forefoot correction options. You can go for a medial, Meta 1 to 2, or a lateral, Meta 5 forefoot correction, or choose one of the specific corrections, like a Meta 1, Meta 2 to 4, or a Meta 2 to 5 forefoot correction. They can go from 2 to 4 millimeter high and are available in the stiff and the flexible option. Select the personal ID, which will be printed on the back of the heel cap, and click Proceed to checkout to finalize the ordering process.